Hi, in this video we'll be looking at how to create a parameter query. So we're going to go to our create menu here and then query design and uh, we're going to add our items table, add close and uh, what happened is your parameter query is used similar to a search uh, query. So in other words you'll get a chance to enter a particular search item or search key and this will display a set of results based on the value that is entered. What is cool and unique about this query is that every time you run this query you get a chance to enter a different value. Okay, So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's say for example we would like to find out some information on item. Let's say um, we're going to use our item number as our key. Let's say we want to find out the item name and the price and probably the let's say the date bought okay so we are going to use item number as our search key here and um, I'm going to zoom this up a little bit to show you how to do that so I'm going to right click here click on zoom I'm going to increase the font here because I want you to see how this works so I'm going to go to I'll make this 28 okay it's a little bit bigger there. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna say something like this, and you have to place whatever you're you're mentioning here. This is simply a prompt to the user to tell the user of your database what to enter as a search key. So I'm gonna say enter item number, and you have to place this in square brackets for it to really work effectively. Okay. So enter item number and uh, once you've done this, you place that in square brackets, this will be displayed to the user of your database upon the searching for a particular record and uh, they will have to enter the item number to be able to see item name, unit price and the date bought for that particular item. And this can be useful, say for example in the supermarket you may have an item that may not have a price listing on it and then you want to check in the system you can just type this up quickly and uh, it will work just as effectively as any search alright so let's see how this works so we're gonna click on the query tools here design you can either click on view or run so I want to just preview my items table just to see what I have here okay 00A okay 11B all right, good. So let me run this query and see now. So I'm going to type in item number 00A, and I'm going to see here what my results will be. So notice as I click on Run, this little window pops up that says Enter Item Number. Okay, so once I enter this item number, it's going to give me or should give me all the information here, item name, unit price, and date bought for only this item. So I'm going to click on OK, and what do you know? I'm seeing only the information for item number 00A, which is bread. I'm seeing the unit price and the date that it was bought. So um, once again, let me go back to my design view to show you how that is set up. So simply how the parameter query works, you have to enter in your criteria row here. And we're looking at a particular search key. This is item number, which is a unique key for each item. And we simply place in square brackets the prompt, what we want the user to see, to help them to know what they need to put in there, right? Put inside the search uh, to be able to display item name, unit price, and date bought. So I hope this video helped you. And uh, if it does, please remember to click on like, make a comment, and remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching.